Hello guys, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm Sofa Developer. I live in Switzerland, so if you watched my previous video, you probably already know that I had a technical interview at Google. And today I want to share with my experience, how was it, and actually what I learned from this technical interview. So if you're interested, continue watching. So let's start from that point that a couple, couple months ago, a recruiter from Google uh, from Dublin office, uh, she texted me uh, first on LinkedIn. She uh, she texted me, hey, do you want to have technical interview at Google? And I was like, what? Like Google recruiter texted me first? And I want to say that that time, it was exactly time of big, big layoffs. They fired a lot of people. They was looking for someone uh, in Zurich office, they were looking for a site reliability engineer slash uh, software engineer and I thought yeah sure I want to try. I didn't apply for any open Google position, job position, never and I was so so surprised that it happened and actually yes I told yeah sure I want to try, I told yes I'm going to have technical interview and we try to schedule some time for this interview but anyway I had about like one month to prepare and actually some of you maybe tell me oh it's enough one month is enough but not for me it was not enough it was absolutely not enough because I was not ready and I was scary as f so yes I was scary I, I was not ready and I almost got my panic attack and I don't know just yes I was happy in the same way I was so 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 scared oh so, yeah actually what happened actually I had kind of a lot of anxiety during this preparation and I started to solve a lot of problem on lead code yes I was like kind of like new on lead code and deep before I didn't solve any problem on lead code so yes I started lead code but anyway I felt like it's enough it's not enough time for me I I realized I need more time I need more time to prepare and I was like oh no no maybe I have to reschedule this interview or I have to do something else in the end I got my interview it went kind of okay but guy he got laid for 40 minutes for my technical interview it was really 40 minutes or 45 it was kind of horrible I don't know I, I even thought like maybe it's kind of stress test I don't know it's Google who knows but probably he just was super busy and yeah okay we did it actually I solved maybe half of the problem but I didn't solve it really well and really fast and it was something about graphs uh, in Python yes because I'm a software engineer in Python and it was kind of like 50-50 not the best not too horrible but in the end uh, I got results that no I didn't pass this interview I didn't pass but they give me another chance they told me oh we give you time I mean you have just a little bit to prepare more and actually they gave me a couple of four slash six months to prepare and kind of like they will text with me again and they will ask me to have interview again and actually it's kind of cool but in the same way I got a lot of stress I got a lot of stress and it was really maybe the worst time during this year I don't know because I I felt so awful and I decided so if I felt so awful I have to I have to solve this problem and it was really big trigger for me to start my CBT CBT it's cognitive behavior therapy with, with my psychologist and actually I did so yes Google for me it kind of really big trigger to start CBT it's really important to to have really stable mental health if you don't have you have to fix it so for me it was kind of really interesting scene to learn about me to learn about myself because I didn't know actually that maybe I have some problems and I have to solve these problems first of all not problems on lead code but problems with my mind I mean with my mental health and it's kind of really cool that I realized this and I try to solve this 
first. And yes, I started my CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy, with psychologist online and it, re it, it, really, it, it really helps. I mean, I'm so happy I did it. Really, really important thing is they have to have mental health, stable mental health. And for me, what I learned is that it's really, really important to, to be ready for interview, not only to solve thousands of problems on LinkedIn code, but to solve your problem here if you have. And I had, I mean, because I felt not really comfortable with myself, with my anxiety, with this kind of panic panic attacks and it was really not the best experience in my life so yes yeah, and Google thank you Google I mean I realized that I have this problem and I decided okay I'm going to solve this problem first so yeah the first problem I saw it was problem not on LinkedIn code it first was problem with my mental health and my anxiety that I had so yeah and next, of course, problems on lead code. It's important. Yes, I know it's important. But as I told you, I don't have, I didn't have enough time. But I solved, yeah, of course, a couple of problems. I mean, not couple, but maybe a lot. But it was, anyway, it was kind of not enough for me. And and another thing that is really, really important for you to prepare for technical interview at Google is you have to have enough time. I mean, it's really important. It's really would be better if you start to prepare in advance, maybe right now. If you don't have interview right now, but you're thinking about to have in the future, probably you have to start to prepare right now to solve lead code problems as soon as possible. Because my mistake was, as I told, I wasn't ready. I didn't solve a lot of problem on lead code before I got my interview. So that's why actually it was not really perfect. And another thing that I want to share with you is that if you're preparing for interview, ask for help. Ask for help. I mean, if you have friends, if you have your community, ask for help. What kind of help do you need? Actually, mock interview. Yes, you need mock interview. And what is mock interview? It's kind of like test, fake interview, technical interviews. It helps you to prepare for technical interview. In general, it really helps like to have mock interview, especially from someone who works at Google. I mean, it really helps. You kind of already can understand how it is, how it feels. And I'm telling you, mock interview is important. Okay, maybe this video is a bit messy because I'm not really professional in making video. I'm only trying to make video and I'm learning and I'm also not fluent in English. It's not my first language. So yes, it's definitely, I have a lot of stuff to improve. But if talking about my experience and my technical interview at Google, what I want to say, if to be short, your mental health is really, really important. It should be number one, it should be your priority. Based on my, my experience, it's really, really important. So, scene number two actually is time. You need time as much as possible and you have to prepare right now. If you plan to have interview at Google in the future or in other big fan company, you have to start right now. So, time is really, really important. And next scene, and it's also really important, actually, you have to do mock interview as much as possible. As much as possible and ideally with people who already work at Google or at that company you want to work in the future. I hope it was kind of helpful for you as well. I don't know, it was not really technical video about how to prepare to, tech, to technical Google interview, no. It's kind of like about what you should do in advance to be successful, how to crack Google interview. Mental health, enough time and mock interview. And of course, lead code problems, yes, it's number it's like default. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel and maybe you will see more video like this and maybe it will be even better soon because I'm just learning 
I'm just learning, I'm a new YouTuber and I don't know too much but I'm really curious to share with my experience as well, IT, career, all this stuff. So thank you so much and see you soon.